And today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my setup. I made a number of changes from last year, so without wasting more time, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so everything you see in this video will be linked down below in the description, but let's get started with my PC. Alright guys, so this is my PC. So it's uh, custom painted and uh, I've done some small mods to it. So as you can see, I custom painted uh, up here, so it's red on the NZXT S340 Elite case. I custom painted the thumb screws for the side panel and I've also custom uh, painted the H440H100i uh, 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 liquid cooler from Corsair. Uh, as you can see, I've got two GTX 1080s in SLI. These guys are beasts, bro. Uh, I should have waited for the 1080 Ti's, I know, yes. But then I, I just needed a PC, so I just went with the 1080s. Uh, as you can see, I got some custom. Uh, sleeve cables from Cable Mod. Thank you guys for um, uh, helping me out with some custom sleeve cables. They look amazing. I think I just need to fix up the uh, power, uh, motherboard uh, cable. I've got uh, 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance LED RAM, which look insane. I've got a Intel Core i7 7700K, uh, which is not overclocked at the moment because uh, I haven't been I haven't bothered to. But it's running on the MSI Gaming M7 Enthusiast motherboard, which is a, a great motherboard. I love the uh, um, dial up there that tells you the temperature. I, I just like, love this motherboard. It's really good. I've got the Corsair and uh, no, thermal take, sorry, uh, ring uh, LED lights up there and in the front, which is basically pointless, but you yeah. know, YOLO. Did I just say that? Yeah. And I've got that, and I've got like some custom. Not custom, but like the stickers that uh, came with it. Oh yeah, my power supply. I've got a thousand watt Corsair power supply in there, so it's all good. Uh, yeah, so this is this is basically my PC, and um, I'm very happy with it. I will be upgrading at the end of the year, even though I don't need to, but that's just me. Oh yeah, I also forgot about my storage. So I've got a one terabyte SSD. That's a one terabyte SSD from Western Digital. Uh, I removed the sticker because it was like, um, like big. So I just removed that. I was gonna carbon fiber wrap it with some red skins, but then uh, I thought black would just look uh, contrast more because it's a black and red uh, setup. And I've also got, uh, I think, I think four terabytes. I've got two two terabyte uh, hard drives in there. So I've got plenty of storage. I'm basically set for life. I forgot to add that in. So making our my, uh, our way to the right, you can see I've got my PS4 controllers. And I still haven't put the D-band skins on them, so I need to put them on. But I've got my Xbox uh, One controller for when I want to play like GTA 5 or like DOJ. I, I can uh, use this and um, uh, be really good at driving. Uh, so yeah, I got the um, D brand skins on them and I got the control freak grips on them uh, and the control f uh, freak thing thing magics. There you go. I got those on them. I got my RGB light uh, switches over here. I've got this like really bad headset that I received for Christmas. So yeah, I just got that there. Got the Logitech surround stand. I got my TV remote for my TV here. Expect, don't worry about this. It's a mess. I need to fix it up. But I got a tripod here in case I need it. Got my um, gaming glasses in case like, I need to use them. I got a Top Gear co coaster for my water bottle. It's my G Fuel. Uh, uh, make your way over here. And this is where I dock my iPhone. But currently I'm uh, using it to record. So yeah, and this is my Apple Watch stand. I still need to put the Apple Watch charger in it, but I haven't done it yet because I just got it. 
and uh, making our way over over here you can see my current mass bungee which is the Kruger mass bungee um, I really like this one the suction is like alright but I have had problems with it coming off so yeah um, I usually use the um, Zowie uh, mass bungee but my cousin actually borrowed it and never going back so I ordered a new one so the Zowie one will be replacing this and I also have the razor one but then I, I just used this one because um, I kind of got tired of the razor one so yeah so moving over to my peripherals, as you can see I got the Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum Mask. This knife bro, I highly recommend, if you're, if you're going for a mask which is like around 100 bucks, this mask is clutch. I, as soon as I um, watched a few reviews on it, I was like, I gotta get this mask. And this mask is just like really good, it has a lot of buttons, um, uh, you did, uh, it has uh, 16,000 dpi, but you, you're not gonna use that, like, unless you're insane. So moving over to my keyboard, and this is the... Corsair K70 rapid fire um, with the rapid fire switches on it. I love the K70. I usually switch between the K70 and the Black Widow tournament edition. No, no not tournament edition. No. The pro. I, I don't remember the name, but I usually switch between the Black Widow when I feel like um, I need more clickier switches. At the moment, I'm using the rapid fire because I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 3. Um, but it's been double XP, so yeah. I really love this keyboard. I love the lighting effects on it, but even though the Razer. Lighting effects a little bit better, but I love this keyboard. It has a dedicated um, media switches over here, uh, Windows lock key, um, USB pass through. That's like clutch. And um, as you can see, I've managed my cable so you can barely see it when you sit down. So that's great. And from Tech Source, we'll be happy. So yeah, moving over over here, I've just got some like phones. Got a Note 7. Don't worry, it's not gonna explode. Uh, I've got a. I don't remove the battery by the way. But I've got an iPhone 4. I'm, I've got to. I'm gonna put some more phones uh, over here. Um, but they're, um, they're currently in use for videos, so uh, I'm not gonna bother too much on putting them in this video. As you can see, my headset here, it's the Corsair Void RGB. I haven't got it on yet because uh, I'm a I don't know why. But yeah, I've got the Corsair Void RGB headset. These headsets are clutch. I also use the Audio Technica M50 Xs for editing videos. Uh, but this is my go-to gaming headset uh, alongside the Astro A40s, the new ones. So if I go past the monitor, um, behind here I have my PS4 hidden away for when I want to play some uh, Black Ops 3 on my PS4, play some game battles, you know, um, all that stuff, beam some kids. So I've got the PS4 here um, as standby. I, I, I was going to put the Xbox One up here, but the Xbox One at the moment, the Xbox One S, sorry, is in the living room because um, I was playing some uh, Forza Horizon on it, so yeah. So that's basically it for my setup. Um, I've got the I've got two 27-inch BenQ gaming monitors. These monitors are amazing. 144 hertz. Links down below. Um, this is like the best monitor for FPS gaming, in my opinion. I've got it on the Vivo, Vivo with an I, not with an E, but on the Vivo Dual Monitor Mat. This mat is pretty solid. I have to get this piece of timber so it wouldn't actually bend my desk because these two monitors they are really heavy. So. Yeah, so I got those, and that's basically it. I got a RGB light strip running along there. It adds such a nice effect. I've also got a, a lamp with a RGB bulb, um, which I picked up for Masters, which you can't pick up anymore because. Uh, underneath here, I also have another RGB strip which runs along here, and it's basically like adds some underlining. Uh, for my cable management, I've used the uh, IKEA Signum rack. This is that clutch, so it keeps all my wires like nice and tidy. Uh, so yeah, and down there, I, I ordered a channel raceway, but it ha hasn't uh, came yet. But I'm gonna put a channel raceway along all of that, so it has all my networking over there and uh, the extension wires. I don't have a power socket on this side of the wall. I have it on the other side of my room, which is kind of dumb, but you gotta deal with what you got. So yeah, and I've also got a anchor, anchor power station thing, USB charger here charge my devices I just like, plug it in and leave it over here next to my TP-Link router this router is amazing I was gonna get the Nighthawk from the uh, uh, Netgear but I, I went with this because the Nighthawk is just like, really like expensive after upgrading to this uh, router my speeds went up a little so yeah I get like 50, um, 50 down and um, I think 25 upload at the moment but then uh, I live in Australia so you know you can't get good Wi-Fi so moving on above my desk is a shelf where I store all my G Fuel shakers and G Fuel. At the moment, I only got these two flavors. I got more um, in the cupboards over there. 
but these are the flavors I have. So I got an MOG shaker, I got a face shaker, I know face up. I got a nature um shake cup, got an IM because it's gonna represent Intel, got a Captain America iPhone 5 case from back in the day, I got a black widow pop vinyl, got an iPhone 7 jet black 256 gigabyte uh box. Captain America got super gold, got the ultra boost box and I got it's like quality that you get things. Yeah, or obviously quality that magician. So yeah, that's basically it for my setup guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna add some more posters up there and up there soon. But they haven't arrived yet, so and I was like really tempted to make this video. But that's basically it guys. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and see you guys for later. Guys, I hanged up this optic gaming thing that my friend Justine gave me. It's actually pretty great. It has all these logos on it, G Fuel, you know, all that. I don't know why. But like I just love the optic gaming thing, so I decided to just put it up, you know, gotta represent your OG's fam. So yeah, it's on the other side of my room, so when I'm like on my webcam streaming or anything, everyone can see that I'm representing Optic Gaming, MLG, Smosh Games, I don't know why. But yeah, thanks Justine for this gift.